Hey, how's it going? And today this is just a super quick video showing how to make a basic connection or preliminary connection to the pop-up device, which has so much application. So what I'm going to show you here is if I go into the game, and basically this is just a take off on my last tutorial I did on a trigger counter, except in this case, when we, when we go on the trigger, it's going to bring the pop-up device up. So we're going to walk over here. We hit the trigger and it just says press a number. Now these numbers, these buttons, it can have up to six buttons. It returns the index number of the button. So these are all stored in an array. So one button is actually zero and two is one. So the first button in, in the index array is, this is zero, one, two, three, four. So if I press one, it's gonna print a string and you'll see it's gonna say zero because that's its position in the array, right? So then if I click here and I go here, I can trigger the device again, press a number five is going to return four because that's its position in the array. See four up in the upper left corner. So I'll just show you the code to this really super quick. This is so similar to the last one that I, I just did on the trigger device. And I'll just show you what we did differently here. And I would suggest to use trigger devices instead of buttons to whatever it is you want to happen in your game so people don't have to mess with trying to press a button. So anyway, and just put a sign here, you know, stand here and then it'll pop up or something. So anyway, let's go into the code and take a look at it. So this is the exact same as my last code for the trigger counter, except I added at edible here and called it my pop-up. And this initializes the class. So then it becomes basically what we would call instance editable in Unreal Engine. So like if we come over here, you'll see my pop-up and then you just pair it to like you do with the trigger. You pair it to that. And then let's go back into the code here. I'll leave this up on the screen for a little bit. So this is exact same as the trigger counter that I just did. And then all we do is we created, so once we initialize it and make it instance edible and link to it in the game level. Oh, it's right here on begin play. It's my pop-up and then it's a responding button event. And we subscribe here to pop-up press, which we create down here, it's gonna, we create a method that it can call. So whenever the person presses the button, this will be triggered. Every time someone presses that device, it's a responding button device, and then it's gonna send the agent who pressed it and the integer that was pressed. So that's on here, subscribe. So then we make this method down here called puppet press, and it's a tuple, so it's expecting two values to come in, an agent and the index, the array index number and then it's print pop-up. So if you were trying to make, let's say, you know, count how many correct answers there were, you'd probably have to run through the, just the logic of, if the number is this, then increment that is correct. And if it's wrong, maybe don't do anything. And so I can do a follow-up tutorial, but that would just basically be basic programming as far as once you've got the linkage hooked up here, and then you have the variables and you can just start setting the variables and saying if integer equals zero, then this, you know, and then on to the next test. But of course, there's more involved to it than that. But this is just getting you started with that linkage. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.